a $650 million investment is certainly worthy of a celebration. Thompson Creek Metals is amalgamating three mine pits at its Indaco mine, and it's upgrading its mill as well, a project that will lead to about 1,000 direct and indirect jobs. This is absolutely critical. We're just a few miles from Burns Lake here where the mill burnt down. We're in the middle of the mountain pine beetle zone. We know we're going to have challenges. These are real long-term sustainable jobs. The project will also generate about $100 million annually in economic activity when it comes to wages, purchases and taxes. It's all good news for those in the region. I got uh, two kids and another one on the way, so it guarantees uh, a long job for me, probably retire here. It's very important, raising families and, and uh, it brings in a lot for the town too, right? I drive back and forth from Burns Lake every day and there's others I know that drive back and forth from Vanderhoof, maybe Fort St. James. And, very important to the entire region, not just Fraser Lake. Mining is on the upswing in BC as the provincial government is pushing for an expansion to help fuel the provincial economy. But there's a price to potentially be paid for this expansion, environmentalists warn. Particularly acid mine uh, drainage, uh, big impacts on fisheries and in the water system. It's why you're seeing so much opposition uh, to mines, uh, coal mines on Vancouver Island, where the oyster uh, farmers are afraid that we'll uh, get into their stock. And Joe Foy says people should be concerned there may not be adequate safeguards in place to ensure environmental damage does not occur from mining activities. Both the province and the federal government, especially the federal government lately, has been rolling back environmental protections, laying off uh, people in, in federal fisheries and all the agencies that are supposed to check uh, these mines. You need to take the time uh, to make sure that you don't end up with a very, very expensive uh, mistake. But at Fraser Lake, it's a different story, at least for now. With expansion comes jobs and money, something the region needs. When rural BC does well, all of British Columbia does well.